Welcome to Autodesk Simulation TV. We're going to be looking at impact planes on this two-minute tip. My name is James Herzing, and I'm a technical consultant here at Autodesk. So there's a lot of things that we need to set up and know before we can create an impact plane. First, we need to know what plane it's going to be acting in. So this is just a floor that our part is going to fall onto. Next, we have to define an offset based off of the origin of the model for our plane to exist in. We need to choose what type of impact plane that we're going to be working with, which we'll look at in more detail here in the software. As a note, you can easily determine where your model is located by inquiring on the nodes after you mesh it. That is, if you don't know where it is in space from modeling it in one of your CAD packages. Let's get into the software and take a look. All right, so in the software, again, our model is already meshed and it already has its material. So what do we have to do from here? Well, we need to know where our model is located in space so that we can realize where our impact plane is going to go. If we choose to select a vertice on the bottom of our part, we can click Inquire and see where we are in, with respect to Y, since we want to drop in the negative Y direction. If we then click on Impact Plane and choose New, we can choose the plane that we want to exist in. If I move out of the way, you can see that it's going to be in the XZ plane. With that selected, we check the Use Offset button, type our value in for our Y direction. So taking into account the value you saw when we inquired, you can then choose what distance you want your part to fall. In this case, we're going to choose minus 100, which would be a 70 inch drop. Next, we choose our type of plane, slide no bounce or fully general. Slide no bounce is when you just want a part to hit the floor and maybe you're not interested in how it bounces. Fully general is a more realistic uh, analysis where it's going to hit and bounce uh, like a part normally would off a floor. So now you can see it right here defined in the uh, FEA editor. That plane is going to be infinitely large and remember it's also infinitely stiff. If you want something that gives a little bit, you would have to model the part in CAD and bring it in and give it a material property. That's all there is for impact planes. Very easy and very fast. If you have any questions, reach out to me at the Sim Squad. Thanks a lot.